What you think, bro? What you think? Holy sh! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you just tell me? Can I riff it one more time? <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Have you been seeing those drift cart videos on social media and been wanting to make one for yourself? Well, if you've seen any of these videos, then hey, that's me. So I'm gonna walk you through how I installed this motor on my cart to go over 40 miles an hour. But before that, let me show you how these things work. This is a stock cart. This is an upgraded Totems 900 watt race cart. And this is my cart desperately needing a new motor. Crazy carts are front wheel drive with an electric motor, chain driven, as well as your battery. Your throttle is right here and your drift bar is right here. Now, whenever I lift this bar up, it rotates these rear wheels and lets me ride sideways or even backwards. This upgraded cart has a 48 volt battery, a 48 volt ESC, a 900 watt motor in this Totems upgraded fork. Yeah, it goes 25 miles an hour, but I've been wanting to go even faster. So that's why Charge Up 3D just hooked me up with this V3 brushless motor kit. It came with the motor, the motor sprocket, the VESC speed controller, and the cables. First, I wanna get the whole motor assembly done. So we're gonna connect the motor to the adapter plate. We're gonna make sure these ones are super tight. We're gonna connect the adapter plate to the motor mount and just snug these ones up. Then I had to take the motor sprocket and set screws and slip that onto the motor shaft. We're just gonna snug up these ones as well because we're gonna align everything and tighten it down once it's in the fork. So if you really wanted to, you could throw this motor onto a stock fork. But as many people know, the stock fork is super easy to break. So I'd feel much more comfortable throwing it on my Totems fork, which is designed to house bigger, faster motors, as well as prioritize durability. We're gonna slide the motor into the fork, put the three countersunk bolts in. Now we're gonna make sure to tighten these super tight or else the motor's gonna fall off. What do you expect? I mean, come on. We're gonna grab the chain, put it over the sprocket side of the fork, then grab the axle bolt, lay it inside the other side of the fork, put the wheel on, push the axle bolt through with the spacers, then tighten down the axle bolt. We're gonna put the chain onto the sprocket and spin it until we hear the click. Once everything spins freely, we're gonna tighten down the motor sprocket as well as crank down our motor mount. This just assures that the motor isn't gonna move up or down in the slotted holes. Once everything looks like it's locked in, we're gonna put the fork to the side and we're gonna go to the cart. Now we can install the speed controller. I'm super excited to run this because I get a bunch of telemetry data, I can tune it from my phone, a bunch of different stuff. But to fit the on off switch, we're gonna to need to drill out this hole a little bit. And don't be stupid and scratch it like I did. Ooh. Now we're gonna slide the cables through and tighten it from the backside grab our cables and let's get to wiring. Now this is definitely one of the most tricky parts of the process, just getting everything to fit. Just try your best to get it through the stock cable trolley. You wanna get it looking something like this. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the yellow, green, and blue cables to the VESC and don't forget your throttle cable. Now we can wire it up. We're gonna plug in the on off switch, the hall sensor cable, and the throttle cable. And then we're gonna grab our fork, slip on the headset bearing, slip that bad boy through the steering column, grab your headset nuts and start tightening it down. So I spent a shit ton of time wire tucking, just making sure nothing would come into contact with the steering column whenever I would turn the wheel. But thankfully the new Totems fork is gonna have way better cable management. I then plugged in the yellow, green and blue cables into the motor this time, as well as got the hall sensor cable connected. And then I spent even more time doing bullshit cable management. I think you can tell what part's my favorite. I clipped off all the ends of the zip ties, finally done with this cable management. I grabbed the steering wheel, put it into the fork, made sure it was tight, then turned the wheel to make sure nothing was catching. I grabbed my headset wrench, tightened down my headset. Now I grabbed my battery cable extension, plugged into the VEC, twisted it to remove some length, and then plugged it into the battery. Now it's time to see if it powers on. That's a good sign. Now, because this is a brushless motor, I actually have to install the tune with the VESC app. I connected up to the cart and then uploaded the tune that he sent me, as well as detected the motor for hall sensors. Now, this is a super important step. It just lets the motor know exactly what position it's in. And I just went ahead to be safe, recalibrated my throttle, just so I got the full range of motion. Seems like it's working, let's go test it. All right, so before we rip this thing at full speed, I wanna get warmed up. So might as well rip this super tight sidewalk path right next to alligator infested waters. Well, listen, if we do manage to unalive ourselves, it'll make for some great content.
<laughs> With that being said, I sent the drone up in the air just to show off how cool of a spot this is. The start line is over here on the right, the finish line over here on the left. Now I didn't talk too much in these clips just because I needed to be focused. I really didn't want to fall in the water, but I hope you enjoy a few of these clips of me and Dom ripping. We're ready whenever you are. But fat, like fast but smooth. Fast but smooth. Priori Not too fast. Like in the middle. Yeah. Prioritize. <laughs> <laughs> right, you, buddy. All right. Oh my god, bro. He's got crazy angles or whatever that was. So sick. Oh my god. Speechless. I'm speechless. That was a run. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you ready for us to come back? I'm ready for you to come back, actually. <laughs> After you, big More boy. More smooth this time. It's so hard to commentate. And we're ripping the car. Alright Dom, let's do a little race. Uh, you're gonna take off, I'm gonna count to five, then I'm gonna chase you, see how long it takes to catch up. Alright. Alright, three, two, one, go! One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five. Alright, I'm full throttle. 25, 32, 34, 39, 31, 2, 3. Bye Dom. All right, so this is the next day. I wanted to try this power line spot out. It looks super fun, super fast. I also wanted to give Dom a chance to try it out. Bro, this thing cooks. This thing is crazy. You gotta try it. You wanna hop on? Yeah. Yeah? All right, hop on, and I want you to get some rips. She's all yours, bro. All right. You ready? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I am. <laughs> dude, you look like you were going fast. Look at your back wheels. Oh, dude, these are fine, bro. These are fine. Look, let's compare to yours. Look. <laughs> All right, dude, hop on. Let me see what you think. Please. Don't. Please. <laughs> Please. Don't die, bro. Please. Don't Please die. don't crash. <laughs> don't die. Be safe, bro. It's kind of slow. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he's coming back. Oh, he's cooking. He's cooking. Jeez. Holy crap. That's so fast. That's so fast. What you think, bro? What you think? Holy shit! <laughs> you think Bro, it, I was ripping! You were cruising coming right here. That was like, that was pretty sick looking. Bro, I'm speechless. Yeah, I don't you like know it? what to say. That's probably the craziest crazy card experience I ever felt. Oh my like, god. Give her a rating, bro. Give her her rating. It's perfect, bro. 10 out of 10. Yeah, dude. Jeremy killed it with his motor setup. If you guys want access to all the parts that we used on the video, go to totems.com, charged up 3D. It's everything's gonna be in the description. Do my outro, bro. Do my outro.